Who, who would have thought, Findbar, that we would have become such great friends? You are an honorable and loyal man. Thank you for coming to be here with me at the end. I know, I know you have suffered an unfair seeming amount of grief, and yet you still, you still come. You are still here for me in my last hours. My friend, I know in the wholeness of my heart that you and I will see each other again in God's kingdom in the hereafter. Ah, yes, but your daughter, again, she has lived a good life. I have spoken with her. She is happy. I think she would rather die and go to her reward than live with the sickness that has taken her. Ah, uh, of course, with a father like you, your daughter would be wise. There is much I could learn from her, I think, in this time. Hello and welcome connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3, friends of the channel, both new and returning. My name is Huntiner and we are here with Findbar, with the Tress of the Isles. We are about to raid in, uh, in Ireland. It is slightly risky because our number of troops is only a very small amount better than him. We are gathering new knights. We should see them pop up here. Raptor Retailer, my caravan master, Fwidwer. An avid hunter has brought me a man who sells trained hunting raptors. These are the finest of birds. I raised them from Iris myself. They will not let you down, High Chieftain. An assortment of hawks and falcons of various sizes sit calmly on a cage before me. Here is a fine specimen. specimen hunting raptor. I already have a good <laughs> hunt master, so I don't need him for that. That being said, this is a good bonus. I am actually going to pay for the hunting raptor. I think that aligns well with our our particular thoughts and feelings about this stuff, right? A champion has arrived. Alfred. He is an Astaru Anglo-Saxon. He is a berserker. As an Anglo-Saxon, I'm pretty sure he can be uh he can have his mind changed. He's not zealous. How much will he cost? 37? We'll do that. And we will also demand his conversion. Ooh, only 62%. What happens if he says no? If he says no, he might cause problems. So I'm going to ask my wife for permission, for, for permission, for help, and see that puts it up to 80%. I think that will make it happen. If it doesn't, we could have trouble. He agreed. All right, he's converted. That's fine. Let's put my wife back on assist ruler. It's good. Let's go. You've got this. You've got this. Doing pretty well, you know, learning wise. Uh, he put me back as master of the hunt. I'm not sure why he re removed me just to put me back a few days later. Maybe it was because when we were sick, our stats fell too much. Maybe it was the loss of two prowess that made him think someone else would have been better. We are an old man. That's not helping, but so is he. Like, look at his prowess. Shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> he shouldn't be complaining about how low our prowess is. Look at his prowess. Next time we get money from the Pope, I think we are going to use it to make a second... Artifact. I would like to commission Golden Child. One morning, I'm getting ready to face the day, and my daughter, Narvala, approaches me. Father, we found this while exploring in the Northern Tower yesterday. Oh, very nice. Another gift from one of my children. You know, you raise your children well, and they become good. Wise. Generous. It has been so long since we sent out raiders. Pretty sure my son will do fine though. I don't think he's at too much risk. Oh, we caught a prisoner. If we ransom him, it's 50 gold. Liege conversion halted. So he stopped converting the Outer Hebrides. Did it change or is it still... He finished, it's finished. Okay. Uh, he is going to make his attempt now. I'm going to see if it's possible for me to... Ooh. That's, uh... That is an even fight. 
I'm hoping our good knight, our good champions will make a difference. Befriend. So we have befriended our daughter's husband way down in the south. This Frenchman. Narvala's first teething, so she can keep this tooth. Let's just put a pause on that. I would like to learn his language. I don't have that good a chance. Still, I think we're going to give it a shot. I think we're going to see... You know, there might be... Might make more sense to try to learn this language. Let's see if we can succeed at this. I think we've pushed ahead enough in this battle that we are going to win. Our champion was wounded by uh, their chieftain. A gem in the rough. During one of our lessons in my daughter Narvala's chambers, I notice a collection of rocks nearby displayed in a shelf. One of these stones stands out in the collection. It's quite rough, but on closer inspection, there's a deeply red, brilliant hue contained within. She notices my interest and picks it up and hands it over. You can have it, Father. That's a valuable object. I mean, I can... I'm assuming she's got a good guardian... This will help her education. No, it's more important to me that she gets a good education. So let's give her that education aid, especially since she we aren't able to put her under my uh, my wife, who we were originally going to have her with. A new champion has arrived. He's a twenty-one. Is a wife. His wife is a French Catholic. I am going to see how much he's going to. Oh, no, no, not dismiss. Recruit. Recruit. How much will he cost me? 26 gold. Seems worth it. It's likely that he will convert. He will. That's good. Thank you for joining. I love your armor, by the way. You're going to look awesome on the field of battle. He's cynical, which is probably why he had such an easy time agreeing to convert. You know, he's not... Uh, doesn't care that much about religion to begin with. I think we should go for the capital. He may make another attempt on us. We've made 30 gold plus the 50 from the, um, the ransom. If he makes another attempt on us now, I think we win again. This is not as good a situation for us. It's got us declared as winning, so this guy is another Norse Astaru. We will recruit him. We will demand his conversion. We will ask our wife's advice again. Didn't help as much with him. We'll still demand it. You can always send him away. Hopefully he's willing. Hmm. We're going to have to imprison him for resisting conversion. If the imprisonment fails, then he more or less robbed me. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Everybody's fine. It's fine. If that guy ever returns here, though, we'll try to imprison him again, I guess. Now, uh, we still have our son's territory to help restore after his war. We're going to win this battle again. It's pretty clear. He wounded someone important. Good. I think this is going to be the last one. We're not going to push our luck past here. We already got that 50 from the... Uh, from the... From the hostage, so... One of King Alfred of England's favorite things to do with me is sit by the fire and exchange war stories on a beautiful... Islander night. And... This night, we have been reminiscing... From sun until moon until sun again. I begin by telling of the time my claim war against Citrig ended in victory, prompting Alfred to clasp his hands and last a fine tale. Though truly, I tell you, friend, there is no event more glorious in all history than I was victorious in Aethelwulf's dethronement war. Ha! What a glorious day we've had. I pray many more glories to come. Nobody spins a yarn like Alfred. Yeah. I mean... But, yeah. <laughs> oh. I bet that's worthwhile. Let's head back to the Hebrides. 
and we will ransom you. You are worth a lot. I'm gonna hold you for a bit, kid. I'm gonna hold you for a bit. We'll send you home after... After your father has enough money to pay at least a quarter of it. Once he's at 50, I'll send you home. It seems pretty well balanced, I'd say. Good raid. Good raid, my son. Good raid. Reflecting on God, I am sitting and meditating on the finer points of Catholicism. I cannot help but think back to when I traveled to Canterbury for my very first pilgrimage. This trip was far from the Quidotian comforts of my life as High Chieftain, but the relief I felt upon arriving at Canterbury made it all worth the trouble. I believe I will forever feel closer to God. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Will your father find some money fast, kid? You are going to war with this guy. It's a Northman army. 5,000 strong. I will accept. Because I feel like I have to. Because I feel like it's right. Not sure what he's trying to take. Can no get, no negotiate an alliance with our son, which we should. Our son got wounded in the war. Sorry, in the raiding. He got wounded in the raiding because he must be one of the raiders, right? Well... You know, I think it will be fine. Marvelous news. We need to land. I'm going to I think I'm going to have to disband because I need to like um, refresh my troops. How many people does he actually have? Just me. I don't think we can win this, my friend. I don't think we can win this, but I will try. I will try. I have tons and tons of prestige, so let's... Let's raise up a new unit. What will it be, though? I think we do light horsemen again. We could do armored footmen. Horsemen just makes so much more sense for us, for us though. I think we're going to make another unit of light horsemen. Increase this all the way up to five. And it will regenerate while we prepare for our new war. Who is this? It's our fellow vassal. Sure, we can be friends. Why not? And no problem with that. No problem with that at all. Kind of makes perfect sense. Let's see where we can station... Our new unit here is perfectly acceptable. And what do you want from me? You want me to go on a hunt? I mean, yes, I'm at the point where I'm getting old. And I think that letting my going on the hunt with you and then letting my son handle the army is perfectly acceptable. He's got good experience with it after all now. We'll join you in the hunt. Fresh start. I hope it goes well. Journeying through Colander, I pass a peculiar looking tent. Oh, it is a holy man. I think... I think we're going to ask him for an omen. Good omen. Very nice. Very good. A duel demanded? Who is this? This is a Catholic Gale. I think I would beat him. Let's do it. And we win the fight. He's now joined our army. So we're lost. I don't want to be delayed. Still, I think it's fine either way, so we'll just, we'll find another path, it's fine. Five days I don't think is going to make the difference. I think we make it anyway. Oh yeah. 
It's close, though. But we did it. We made it. We got here in time. Soon. We really need our army to... <laughs> we really need our army to raise up. Hopefully... This is... Two groupings. Of Viking adventurers. I'm gonna have to give it a little bit more time. I at least need my bowmen and my original horsemen raised up. So that's two more months. Lucky Falcon Regal up. I actually think that's pretty cool. I must have it. Yes, I'm willing to pay for this glove. It's time. I think we have to go. I think we have to go. He's going to lose the battle, but I think we have to go. Heeding the Call of the Wild is an adventure, and this outing delivered the good and the bad in abundance. I gathered the disappointed party and exhausted hounds for the trip home. Yes, let's go home. It's okay that we didn't succeed. This is going to be rough. He's going to beat us. But, but his troops are... Um, These troops are weaker. Oh, we got it, actually. We're gonna get it. Good job, my son. Excellent job, my son. Friendly council. Two random skill points per friend. She's not married. We can have her join our court. That's fine. We did it. <laughs> we actually... Good job, my son. Oh, what a powerful warrior you have become against the Norse. You are going to make an excellent duke one day, just like your brother. Brother is still wounded. But it's not an aggravated wound, nor has he gotten any help healing it. Won't be long now. So my daughter is doing her first enrobing. Narvla, the little scoundrel. Do we have a Prince of, of Fashion already? Did we do give that title to our son? No, I think she can be the Princess of Fashion then. Nice. We now have the Lucky Falconry Glove, which we'll add to our... stuff. Unconditionally, as I lean over the map in the council chamber, a sudden creak turns my head towards the door. My son, Connell appears in the hallway and walks into the room. He looks at me with an inscrutable look for a moment and then walks over me, wrapping me in a tight hug. You're a good son. All of my sons are good boys. You are such a good boy. All right, so now I think you can start training our knight commanders, right? Yeah, I think that's perfect. Very good. Nope. Are you even making money, man? Fine. I'll just do it now. Learn language, admiration. King Alfred, the one who I'm striving to emulate in my endeavor to earn Anglic, has started sending correspondence to me as of late. I've gotten several letters where he lauds my efforts to learn his language, calling them both respectable and admirable. Feels good to get recognition for my hard work. Scribes send back my appreciation. King Alfred's... Handwriting is interesting. So this is stressful. Because we're impatient. I'll send back my appreciation. So we have 179 gold now. What is this? What's oh, a grand tournament? Of course we're going to Alfred's grand tournament. How could we possibly say no? But uh, we are going to... She has gotten too old to be our wet nurse, but I don't think we need one anymore. I don't think we're going to have any more young children. And our youngest child is old enough to be able to have a proper... Oh, that's my friend's. To have a proper guardian now, right? Yeah, he's seven. We don't need a new wet nurse. That's fine. We can do without. I'm going to, of course, customize this route. 
because it is much safer for us to go by sea just to avoid this mess of war and I think that's great that'll get us there join Alfred's grand tournament yes we will definitely make it in time so let's go ah grand tournament a fresh start my best friend King Alfred is hosting a grand tournament competing in the vicinity of Somerset and time has come to depart we shall represent the house of McGebrain and make the Gaelic people proud. While we are there, we should also seize the opportunity to experience Anglo-Saxon Anglo culture. Yes, we will. As the procession rolls through the plains of Glasgow, I spot a peasant walking on the side of the road with no shoes. Get him shoes. There is another plague near us. It's down here. We should be missing it, but there is a chance. I feel like we should have brought a doctor along. Oh, our wife is with us. That's fine. We brought the best doctor that we we're aware of for long then. Oh, finished the promote culture. Oh, Alfred is sick with the... Pl okay, this is just regular sickness. I can't wait for it to start. It's a duel. Our intent is to triumph, obviously. <laughs> Let's go to the temple grounds. Lively noises make me discover an improvised area set up by the local peasants where two burly wrestlers are putting on a show. They trade blows, weave and duck, and circle each other until one of them makes a daring move. I call this one the abridged pivot. He screams before lifting his opponent and slamming him into the ground, making him yield immediately. Modest and stunning, victorious again. The victor gloats. Woo, how exciting. I should study their techniques. I'm going to study their techniques. Uh, do you think there's going to be enough time to go anywhere else? I don't think there will be. If we do, it will be the artisan quarters, but I'm very sure it won't be enough time. All right. I have a bet to place. I will bet on myself. I'm not cheating. Finally, a chance. So we are going to have at the blackguard. The great of steel on steel rings in the area as Richard and I strike each other. He steps back, I follow, and another sonorous clash of our blades send vibrations up my arm. All of a sudden, a chance. Richard slips, his foot sliding, and I shove a shoulder into his sternum, sending him sprawling. Richard is slow to recover, and suddenly my mind flirts back to the training manuals I spent hours learning from, and the fanciful things I suggested doing should a clear advantage appear. Unconsciously, I start unscrewing the pommel of my weapon. Have at the blaggard. Use the pommel as a missile. We'll kick him down. Dual repost. So this is the standard. This is, I must remember my training. What, are you scared? 66%. Come then, let's fight. I must remember my training is the highest percent, so we'll do that. And we're victorious in our first match in the duel. Very good. Victory, yes, of course. Don't mess with the Islander champions. Yes, yes, yes. Duel the semifinals. The Herald booms. High Chieftain Finbar of the Isles, Count Alderic Avalich, and Earl Betheric of Hertford and Ingmar have reached the finals. So this is my my champion, my steward, the old man, the berserker, the sword master. I can do... Oh, how strong is this guy compared to me? Oh, he's okay. I can do this. Dual semifinals. Death from above. My blade crashes with that of my opponent. Sparks sent flying. Is the two weapons great? We both step back, circling to our left. Aldric swings at me, the sword's point thudding into the ground after passing my body. 
Quick as a viper, I step in and kick it as hard as possible. Ripped from his grasp, the sword cartwheels through the air, landing to both our horror among the crowd. A shrill cry pierces the air, and we both hurry over to see... Ufsiltol. Who's this guy? Some random guy. Having this, the sword having impacted directly into his arm. Hmm. I mean, I'm here to win. Right? I'm impatient. I don't want to wait for the guy to get... I, I want to win. <laughs> I apologized. It's fine. <laughs> I must remember my training is going to be the best one. There we go. We are now in the finals. Nice. Are we going to be fighting against our own man? I'd love it if we were. Because then I wouldn't really care who wins. <sighs> no, he did well. Don't be saying mean things. I can do this. Yeah. Talking was always a strength of mine. I should concentrate on the fight. A light wind stirs in the air around us as Barothic approaches me, sword ready. I look around for any advantage as any ghoulist does. No uneven ground, no low sun to blind him, no weaknesses in his stance. I ready myself to fight fairly. I shout from the crowd, some fool, falling off a stool, no doubt, causes Barotic to pause. He re-focuses on me twitchily. It is said that some need to be free of distractions to fight. Perhaps Barothic is one such man? And then we will remember our training. And we got it. Victory. Victory. Of course, High Chieftain Findbar of the Isles wins. Who else could have thought it any other way? I think I think my champion felt uh I think he threw the last bout so he wouldn't have to fight his his liege. Trumpets sound, the crowd clamors, competitors begin to assemble, the contest is over, and someone's moment in the sun is being readied. A herald steps forward, voice booming out across the scene after many trials and tribulations, and above all else, some truly spirited competition, High Chieftain Findbar beat Earl Berotic in the final. Findbar is our winner. Truly, there are none in England that can match my skill. My champion, Ingmar, Hardly lived up to the name. That's not true. He did well. I won. I actually won. I mean, he got into the semifinals. That's not bad. Okay. Nice. The sun comes down on the final day of the tournament, and the massed crowds begin to disperse. I find myself ruminating over the results. My superiority with the blade had me take home the prize in the duel. I fulfilled my goal of winning a contest and look forward to the next one. Yeah, that was great. I, I feel really good about that. We gained a dagger as a prize. Plus five prowess. Some personal and hostile scheme power. power. That's really nice. It is truly a fine, fine prize. All right. Finish the Grand Cur Tournament. And then we head home. So our culture has been passed up to here. We said that afterwards we would restore him to... Raising our development here. You know, you did a good job, man. I don't know. I don't care what the text says. You did fine. I would have won if you'd ended up facing me anyway, so. Whispered Tales. This is the third time today I've heard a local nattering about a certain tale as we pass them. Inware. Seize my confusion. It's a reasonable story, my lord. Gerfa, grandson of Noah, they call it. Well, it certainly sounds quite interesting. I will take up this tale. I'll surely end up talking about it myself. This is nonsense. I'll take it up. 
This is Alfred's Legend. Since we naturally met it in the wild, I'm glad to take it up. I think that's interesting, so we'll do that. We're losing 1.5 gold per month. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Commander promoted, so he's got me a new commander. Uh, this guy is pretty decent, so we will definitely accept him. Let's just take a moment and look at... Alfred's Legend. So we get... Legend Promoter, some piety, some learning. It's pretty good, pretty good. Let's head home. What a successful journey that was. We came home a champion. No one to, can deny that even in our old age, we're still a great and glorious warrior. My son did an excellent job as Regent. He's now also improvident, that's a thing. His wife is having another child, which is good. Chronicler, a legend found. My wife, Chief Chieftainess Gormal, hurries excitedly to greet me as I enter the court. God smiles upon us today, High Chieftain, just as it did your mother when you were conceived. Indeed, you were no bastard. Your mother was fortunate enough to be blessed with an immaculate conception. Some people might find this a little... But my mother, that would just make me a peasant. <laughs> that would just make me like a peasant child of God. Well, my, my, I'm not, I'm not a bastard because my mother wasn't, uh, no, we can't do that. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> a call to war. Who is this? This is the young prince of England. He is trying to take Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. Interesting. Yep. Of course we will. Looks like you're already doing a pretty good job yourself. How strong is your enemy? Not strong. I'm going to raise just my... Uh, just my men-at-arms, and then send my son in charge of the army. Nope, that's Osric. And he can go down, and he can join you if you need him. Of course. Scheme at the court. My spymaster has come to me with grave news. Well, we do not know yet who yet. Someone is plotting to kill me. Why would someone try to plot to kill me? Oh, I know who's plotting to kill me. You know, the entire time I've been trying to prevent this from being necessary. But I don't think I have a choice. I think we have to go to war for Island. Or Iceland. I don't think that we'll be at this war for very long. A friend till the end. I still see all the good times I've shared with Alfred. Now, as I step into the dimly lit room and see his weak body laying on the bed, almost motionless, I know with certainty that those days won't come back, and I feel a pang of deep sadness. He hears me walking in and seems to get agitated, so I hurry to his side. It's me, your dear friend Findbar. I'm here. For a moment, Alfred seems to recognize me and gestures for me to move closer. There's something I've never told you. He whispers in my ear. My eyes go wide upon hearing the truth, but it is a fleeting moment after Alfred's eyes get closed once again. I'll stay by your side. We have been friends for so long, but I will remain with you as you die in spite of the fact you just told me something that horrifies me. No, I, again, I will not support your claim. I do not believe that you are the rightful king of Ireland. The second that young Neil asks me to raise up and try to take the kingship from you, I absolutely will, unquestionably. You are not the man who should be in charge of the Isles. I do think maybe I should take Ulster, though. Or you should take Ulster, truth be told. Guy is hardly strong enough to hold it. Okay, we 
we've made our way down. I think we're going to just head straight down while he sieges and try to kill this army. Oh, our court tutor position is empty. So let's see. Court tutor position. We already decided we're not replacing the wet nurse. My champion here is average. It's a perfectly good idea for him to do it because, you know, I still have children that's educations aren't finished. My youngest daughter and my youngest son, so we need a tutor for them. Enemy combatants captured. Who is this? No. I'm going to just let you go because you're very ill and I don't want you to die in my prison. You're a good Catholic man just fighting for his lord. You've done nothing that that validates leaving you to die in my prison. Which one of my daughters while ill? Cancer. And a failed treatment. My poor daughter. At least she's had many children. At least her life has been good till now. We are about to 100% this war. My spy master is the person who died, which I already knew. This champion is the best spy master I have. So we will put him in charge. Sure, he's a Catholic. He's a Gale. He's maimed. Yeah, he shouldn't be fighting anymore. We're going to retire him to a permanent position as spy master because it's absurd that he's fighting. I know he's still a decent warrior in spite of being maimed, but no, <laughs> no. How good is this? This guy's a six. That's not really good enough, so we're not going to do that. Invalidated? So close. Man, if you just clicked that a second sooner. There is a deep and endless hole in my heart. Alfred was a constant companion and confidant. And to have him ripped away, my life feels like a mortal wound from which I will never recover. I will never forget this day. We have to try to find some kind of closure. We experience some level of catharsis. I know it's weird. Would I continue with my language studies? Sure. I'll, I'll learn Anglo-Saxon from the frickin' Pope. <laughs> uh, pretty sure I'm not his close family, so I can't do his funeral, in spite of the fact I would love to. Obviously, being my best friend isn't a good enough reason for me to do the funeral of the King of England, but still. It would be cool if I could. Is his son going to do a funeral? A scheme at the court? Why is somebody trying to kill my little child? These are horrible people. <laughs> These absolutely terrifyingly horrible people. Oh, she's a doctor like her mother. Smart man putting her in charge of your, uh, of your, your medical health. Very wise. Um, are you going to hold a funeral for your father? I'd love it if you did. I will send you a poem about mourning. The poem is lauded. There you go. That seems like a good thing for us to do. We don't want any claims here. We're not employing a wet nurse, but that's fine. We're one few champions because we took the main guy who's now our spy master out of his old position. <sighs> I 
I can't see any other way we would think of to uh, to end her endless, endless rivalry with us. I'm certain she's the one trying to murder both me and my young daughter, literally a child. Like, who else would do it? Maybe her son, but this would also affect him, so I don't think I have a choice. I really thought that I was at the end of my wars, but... No. One more necessary war. I'm going to ask the honest king of England to join me, the husband of my daughter. In spite of the fact I know he's grieving his father. And try to explain the situation to him so he understands that this is not just a... Like a small request. This is really important. There we go. And then we are going to raise our our forces in Osric's territory here. And we are going to bring this episode to an end. Thank you for watching. I hope you join me the next time when we finally try to end this horrid rivalry that has turned into a vendetta against my family. This horrid woman is, and her son are trying to murder me and my daughter. Yeah, it's literally absurd. All right, thank you for watching. Bye for now.